Welcome back to Photoshop for Architecture students. Now we're going to continue working on this um, photo montage of the plane doing a fly past of the architecture school at the University of Queensland. But we're going to have a bit of fun to sort of further contextualize this image. Now what we're going to work on is just showing like a vapor trail or a um, like a flare from the back of the the plane's motor. Now in order to do this I could probably try and paint or draw something that kind of looked like it but what I'm going to do is probably um, an easier or perhaps some people might call lazier way of doing it and I'm just going to find a similar image and then paste the flare from that image into my image here. Now I've found um, a suitable image on the internet and I've loaded it up onto the resources and it's this F-18 um, plane taking off from an aircraft carrier. Now I've already um, made a selection um, of the flare that you can see behind the plane so we can open that up from select, load selection, flare selection, go OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that, control C, go to my destination file, go control V to paste it in. Now I need to realign uh, the flare so it's actually coming out from behind the plane. So again, I'm going to go into my Edit, Transform. This time I'm going to rotate. So I'll spin the, the flare around. There we go. I'm going to move it behind the plane through there. I'll probably need to spin it around a little bit more. Use my arrow keys to nudge it up. Okay, so the alignment's okay. I'm going to use the Move tool to apply that transformation. Now I'm going to go into the Edit, Transform, and I'm going to scale that because it's a little bit on the, the large size. So we'll pop it down to that. Move tool to apply that transformation, and then we can just put it in place. So that gives us um, something to start working with at least. Now, what I'm going to do actually is I'm not 100% happy with where it's sitting so high up in the um, picture there, so I'm going to pull it down a little bit. Now, we can do multiple selections um, in the layer palette by either using the shift key, and you can see there I've selected everything, but if I wanted to select layer 2, which is the flare, plus the plane, layer 1, then I hold my control key down, and I can select those two. And then I'm just going to use my arrow keys to nudge both of those down. Okay, I like that a lot better. Now I'm going to, just before I move on, I'm going to rename these layers. I'm going to rename that plane. Layer 2, I'm going to rename Flare. Okay, so we've got the elements of something that is giving us a little bit more context. Okay, it's a bit of fun, light-hearted, but it's still not 100% real. 